Right now, my dog's favorite treats are these freeze-dried chicken hearts. She absolutely loves them. She picks them over every other treat I give her. So in this video, we're gonna try dehydrating our own chicken hearts. So I've got one pound of chicken hearts here, and the first thing I'm going to do is take a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to separate out about half of them, because I told you we're gonna do these two ways. So I'm gonna take about half of them and put them in a Ziploc bag. Okay, so the half that's still in the bag, I'm gonna tie it back up, and I'm gonna put them back in the refrigerator as is, because the first way we're gonna make these chicken hearts is plain. Um, that's the way she gets them in the freeze-dried bag. They don't have any seasoning on them whatsoever. So we're going to do half of them plain. And then the other half, which you can see here in my Ziploc bag, I'm going to do these like I did some uh, chicken jerky in another video. And I can link to that video. Um, I'll, I'll put it down in the description below. We're going to do a salty sweet chicken heart. So we're going to do one part honey to one part coconut aminos. We're going to use coconut aminos because it is much healthier for our dogs. We don't want to use soy sauce, which you would normally use for um, people jerky. It has too much sodium in it and that much sodium is not good for your dogs. So I'll also put a link below to the coconut aminos that I'm using. Um, so much healthier for your dog, but you're going to get that same savory flavor from it. So one part honey, one part coconut aminos. I'm going to put it in the bag with the other half of our chicken hearts. All right, so now we've got our coconut aminos and our honey on top of our chicken hearts. And I'm just gonna kinda move it all around to make sure it's evenly coating all of the chicken hearts in my Ziploc bag. And I'm also, I'm gonna take both of these, I'm gonna stick them back in the fridge, I'm gonna let these marinate for a couple of hours, and then we're gonna get them on the dehydrator. All right, we're right at 11 hours on the dehydrator, and these smaller hearts are definitely done, but the larger hearts are still a little bit squishy. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take off the smaller pieces that are done, and we're gonna leave the larger pieces on the dehydrator so that they can continue to dehydrate. Okay, so it's been about 13 and a half hours and I want to show you where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and pull these off of the dehydrator because they're getting to be more firm. They're not really gummy anymore. So as you can, these are my plain ones. These are my sweet and salty ones. And there's just a little bit of give left in them, but my dog absolutely, my dog loves them. <laughs> hey, Kimbers, would you like to try a chicken heart? Find one. Oh, she's gotta take it to her bed to eat it. Let's see. She loves her chicken hearts. What you think, sugar butt? Yeah, was that a good one? All right, we'll try the sweet and salty one in just a little while. Kimbers, you want to try a sweet and salty chicken heart? Take it to your bed. Huh. What do you think, baby girl? You like those two? Which one do you like better? I don't know. You're smacking them both pretty good. I don't know if she has a favorite. She likes them both. Good girl, Kim. All right, so both our salty and sweet chicken hearts and our plain chicken hearts are done on the dehydrator. The smaller ones took around 11 hours. The larger ones, I let them go for, it was, I think, like 13 and a half hours. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna portion out 
two, maybe three days worth because these chicken hearts have fat on them and we all know that fat goes rancid. We don't wanna feed our dogs rancid food. Um, obviously, it can make them sick. So portion two to three days out, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator in little baggies. And then the rest of it, I'm still gonna portion them in two to three day um, portion sizes. And then I'm gonna put them in uh, freezer safe containers and I'm gonna freeze them. And I'm actually probably going to vacuum seal them. If you have a vacuum sealer, I recommend you do that. It'll help them last longer. Um, but again, remember to refrigerate or freeze any of your chicken hearts. They do have fat on them and fat can go rancid. But as you can tell, it is my dog's favorite treat right now. I hope you try this for your dog too. Let me know in the comments below how your dog liked it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below as well. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family so everyone can try it for their dogs too. I will see you guys in the next video.